Matt just posted an update at Reddit about track durability now resetting well within an hour from the time he posted it at Reddit in the war games mission so by the time you're watching this video you can probably just go in there and afk win the entire thing without ever moving your hero not even between waves hello guys hello guys hello guys welcome to another one of my fortnite videos where i'm going to be looking into afk winning the media storms because they're not in any way any kind of uh, dangerous you can just like stand and watch them and yeah we're gonna look into that but the main thing that I wanted to do was to look into like truly AFK winning without traps just by building. This is the setup that I am using. The main reason for this is that a lot of you guys have noticed that the Husk Swarm has an increased power level as of 9.10. And in addition to that, building health is not as high as it was before and <laughs> trap healing and constructor perks related to structural health and healing it's also bugged so i went in there to try to find out is it still possible to solo afk these missions just with structures because well i mean it was 10 hours before magis posted that the traps would be working but still why do i need traps if i can rely just on structures can i so and if i can do both then it's a double win but anyway it is still completely doable some of you guys wrote that you just needed three layers of walls in order to afk when the husk swarm denied combination obviously that's that's a no-go they bash through about nine layers of walls for me right now they are reaching this point which basically just means they're coming through three tiles and every tile has a wall and a slant and like a bit of a floor tile with a railing so nine layers of metal is what they are bashing through for me the key with like the afk build that i have is that i get the husks to spread out like you can see here they are hitting multiple structures at the same time best case scenario is of course just let them like spread out completely never take out anything because the new husks are not going to be spawning and that is something you need to keep in mind if you are going to be AFK building your bases with traps. One, you still need to know how to maneuver the husks, how to have the pathing working. But if you take out the husks at spawn, you're not going to be helping yourself that much unless you have a huge amount of crazy traps because the faster the husks die, the faster new ones are going to spawn. So the later you are going to take them out, the closer to the amplifier or the storm shield, you are going to have your traps remove the husks. The more time they're going to be spending traveling instead of hitting on your things. So that is food for thought if you are new to base designs, if you are new to pathing of husks, all that kind of stuff. Try to take them out as, like, as, as late as possible in the map. It is going to give you like the greatest benefit and you're going to have to use fewer traps have to like everything is more peachy but if you are crazy overpowered with really good traps you can just take them out as spawn as i showed you guys at the start of the video but this here is the second amplifier in like my complete afk run i am building a few things to stand on just to give you guys a bit of a different angles on how the husks are moving attacking all that kind of stuff but for me, still completely possible to AFK win the Twine Peak missions as of 9.10 without doing anything else than putting up my base and letting the husks do their thing. So, I mean, that's that's cool. So with that done, with that done, it was time for me to try out the new, dare I say crazy, because it is a little bit crazy with meteor showers. I was, a, I was actually curious about how the meteor showers would play out. I'm a little worried about telling you guys what I actually feel about it because whenever I complain about something being too easy, we, we often get like a crazy change to it. Not because I think anyone at Epic Games ever noticed anything I said, but <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. But I'm gonna do it anyway. This is way too easy. 
If you move to the opposing side of where the husks are coming from, so don't be around your amplifier or storm shield, don't be at the spawn, then you are completely safe from the meteors. They look amazing. The structural damage is minimal. The player damage is crazy. If you get hit by a meteor, game over. <laughs> it's a done thing. But as you can see, I have tier three wood tiles that are surviving being hit multiple times by meteors. So in terms of removing your base, with the current 9.10 version of the meteor shower, it is not a problem at all. I think they are going to buff it because right now it feels very... It doesn't feel dangerous. Another thing I just wanted to touch is uh, the mist pods. I took them out with quad launchers and obliterators to start with. Now I am using bull rush and the pickaxe because they are super fast. I have read that you can use anti-material charge to get rid of them as well. I haven't really tried with an outlander, so I don't know. So, of course, while I was in Fortnite Save the World, I decided to complete every one of my daily War Games missions. Smash that button, like, and subscribe. I am very, very curious about how things are going to be next week. I won't be playing much during the weekend due to work, but I hope that when I like log in Monday, I will start to see a lot of really cool, creative and efficient war games builds with really great trap tunnels. But I mean, everybody may be just AFK building with, uh, with metal walls anyway, uh, only time will tell. But anyway, put it down there. What do you think about the current change? Have you already been in there with traps? Are you guys needing? like trap tunnel videos, do you need any advice on how to pop the husks in the different in the different regions so that you can like be sure to AFK win the entire thing or like put it down there if you have comments, trips, tips, blah, blah, you guys know the deal. As always, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for using my support the creator code Logan Hansen. Thank you very much and very much for watching.